Another bad dream, Uncle? Oh, it's indigestion, that's all. Uh, 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 miserable food here. I can't wait to be off this foul planet. What are you doing here, boy? They're dead, Uncle. The Bene Gesserit witch and her son, both dead. We discovered a Fremen siege not far from where our Thopter was supposed to crash. They've been rescued by that Atreides snake, Duncan Idaho. The ecologist, Kynes, was with them. The Emperor's man. We killed Idaho, captured Kynes. The witch and her son were last seen driving a Thopter into a sandstorm. Uh, uh, you've seen the bodies? They're most certainly dead. You've seen the bodies? Nothing survives one of those storms, Uncle. The wind was over 800 kilometers an hour. Nothing survives. Such a pity. A pity that you had to get mixed up in this business. Doctor. I'm not mixed up in it, Baron. I'm the Emperor's servant. Nothing more and nothing less. So you did not lead them to that warren of Fremen scum? That was Idaho's idea. He had forged a friendship with them. Oh, yes, yes. We know all about Idaho and his efforts on the Duke's behalf. A foolish, desperate gambit. And where was that Fremen trash when he needed them, eh? So, what will you say when the Emperor questions you about what happened here? What's your impression? Hmm? The desert is an indiscriminate executioner, Baron. Well, I suppose that Benny Jesuit whore and her spawn have found that out, haven't they? Be sure he recalls his flimsy denials when he's face to face with death's sweet smile. <laughs> Put that away, Faden. Come here. I want you to see this. The latest love letter from your brother. Appears to be enjoying himself. The moron's appetite for killing never ceases to amaze me. By the time he's finished, there won't be a population left to rule. Oh, oh, oh. cheer up, lovely boy. I merely allow him to brutalize them, to savage them, until you arrive. The handsome fade to rescue them from the beast Raban. <laughs> oh, they will be ripe for you, lovely boy. Fade the savior. They will be cheering in the streets. <laughs> you can even give them your brother's head as a gift, if you like. And then you will squeeze like the grips of a vice. So our treasuries become fat with the profit of spice. <laughs> <laughs> you on the perfection of your air baron. He faces his 100th slave gladiator in the arena this afternoon. He appears ready. Well then, perhaps we might take this opportunity to conduct our conversations. There is much to discuss. Indeed. If that means with your approval, my lady. I am quite entertained here. By your leave then. What other house would have been willing to humiliate itself so the Emperor could rid himself of a troublesome Duke? He's been asking himself that very question. Are you suggesting that the Emperor contemplates a move against me? Speculation is not a worthy science, Baron. 
Whether we spend our energy on what's most important, the spice must flow. I must say, I've always found Harkonnen architecture rather curious. <laughs>